Hey everyone, I'm Zoc Lee and welcome to another Space Engineers update video. This week's update contains more improvements to multiplayer, performance and the overall game, but there's also a brand new multiplayer dogfighting scenario. Trees should now properly sync across clients, so you won't have issues with crashing into invisible ones when playing on your friend's server. We've also implemented turret and thruster parallelization, which will significantly improve performance with grids using lots of them. Moving on, there's a new multiplayer scenario releasing this week called Dead Drop Arena. Dead Drop Arena is a team deathmatch based scenario designed to make it easier for players to jump into a game with ships already prepared so they can start shooting and having fun straight away. Players spawn into the station, pick teams and then enter the cockpit of their ship. When all players are ready, the ships are dropped from the station and there is a 10 second delay before engines and weapons activate. So be ready to pull out of that death dive and for the fighting to begin. Next up, we're going to hear from a special guest. So now we're joined by Marek and we've got some questions lined up for him. So to start with Marek, where have you been and what have you been up to in the last couple of months? Mm -hmm. I've been focusing mostly on the strategic, uh, like strategy for King Software, uh, which means uh, establishing the vision or like making sure that the vision is propagated to the entire team and people understand what was the original vision for space and are following it. Uh, the other thing was uh, roadmaps for space and medieval, uh, like basically improving it and again like propagating to the team. And the last thing I would say is HR internal and external, which mean internal is that uh, we are working on uh, helping our people to develop and then grow, you know, mostly focusing on soft skills to basically become them better at uh, speaking with other people, organizing themselves, organizing teams, managing, leading, and so on. And the external is recruiting uh, people who will be very good fit for us and who will also bring some seniority. So mm -hmm. these are the things. Cool. So uh, next up, we've got what is what was your original vision for space engineers and. How much has it evolved over time? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the original vision was mostly about uh, the feeling that the game should convey, and uh, both games, space and medieval. And uh, it was basically about having a, having games that are in some three-dimensional, volumetric, realistic environment uh, that is not just some fake environment but something that is actually reacting to, to your actions, to your changes, environment that you can actually change and uh, and if you alter something in this game it stays there and it actually has some cascading influences and so on. And uh, the feeling that I wanted to convey was that you are in this environment and interacting with this environment, building and engineering stuff in this environment, not in a menu mm -hmm. or not through a menu or something like this, but in this environment. I didn't want to have some kind of uh, middle step in between, you know, the menu yeah. that will uh, then convey, you know, the, the changes to the environment. I actually wanted all the things to be like there is just you, your hands, and the environment. That's it. And uh, so, uh, and this feeling for this vision didn't change. Like all the details, they evolved and they changed, and so on, based on community feedback uh, and what like our team wants mm -hmm. to do, and so on. Uh, but this feeling uh, stayed and uh, I'm still working on messaging or like conveying this, this uh, or like evangelizing this, uh, this vision or this feeling for the vision to the team and I think it stays there and my mission here is to make sure that both games will get finished like according to this original vision. Cool, all right. I mean, and uh, finally, What's next for Space Engineers and what can the community look forward to? Mm -hmm. There are a few things. Uh, one of the uh, that will be in a short period very soon is new HUD and new uh, UI. And uh, HUD is what you see when you are in cockpit or in a spacesuit. You know, it's the information about your health and stuff. And uh, UI is uh, the buttons and the menus and these things that uh, needed some kind of polishing, some better uh, better graphics uh, for some time and uh, also 
uh, with this they should bring some more intuitiveness mm. and uh, regarding intuitiveness that's another big thing that uh, we are focusing on and then we will focus even more in space and medieval uh, basically the idea is that part of my original vision for space was that the game should be very intuitive like not simple not dumb we never wanted to make it like stupid game but uh, the the goal was that you really should feel like your assumptions about what you can do in the in the game and how to do it should really work work in the way that you assume or like you expect and uh, and uh, so we are working on this and uh, so again uh, this will work uh, better for new players mm -hmm. who will I think welcome this because the older players or the players the hardcore players who spend thousands of hours in the game they all, they know all these things so they know how to play the game they mm -hmm. don't have problem with intuitiveness or accessibility but new players they may struggle and also I think it's better to welcome new players with something that is easy to use and something that works the way you expect it to work and so on. Yeah. This is very important. So this is something for me maybe the most important things I think actually that, that I will be focusing on. Okay. And then, then there is like other things that will probably make some other people happy. So survival rebalancing, which means that you know making the the parameters in the game a little bit more balanced and like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, the scenarios for survival and for multiplayer, which will not be like full-fledged stories, it will be more like a scenario with, with some kind of target, where to go or like what to achieve, but not really a campaign, and uh, there will be a few of them, and uh, they will focus on teaching player this or that. You know. But they will also bring some kind of mm -hmm. meaning uh, to the game. And then another important thing is progression. Uh, so this means that as you will be progressing in the game, some new components or uh, tools will be unlocking for you. And I think this will be also important because uh, for some people or some people may be lacking this progression in the game. That basically, until now you had everything from, start, the, from yeah. the start and this will change. So you will have to like actually fight uh, for the individual things. And then the usual multiplayer uh, improvements. Uh, I actually think that the, this big uh, update that we had for multiplayer with beta a couple months ago, that was the result of internal challenge, that mm -hmm. it was a good thing. And uh, I feel like it probably didn't solve 100% multiplayer issues, but probably most of them, because uh, that's my feedback that I'm receiving from people, that people are really, ha really happy with this. And But again, uh, we are still working on making it like even more perfect, you know, that's, that's really important. Uh, so that people have flawless uh, multiplayer experience. Mm -hmm. And together with this is performance, optimizations, these things that is always like ongoing process. And there is a lot of work actually happening in the background uh, in our uh, VRH team. Yeah. And uh, uh, when we will like unleash these, uh, these uh, optimizations, I think many people will be very happy because the game will just run faster. You know? Definitely. Yeah. And I was just thinking back on that point that uh, the earlier point you made with where a game can be complex but at the same time intuitive. You don't have to dumb down a game mm -hmm. to make it more intuitive. It can still be have very uh, lots of complexity, but yeah, be more intuitive. So Marek, is there anything else you'd like to add today? Actually yes. Uh, next Monday uh, we'll be doing Twitch uh, with some Q&A where people can ask their questions. We'll discuss the vision and some plans for space engineers and medieval engineers and um, people are welcome to come. Well, thank you very much for coming today, Marek. The thank you for answering all these questions. I'm sure the community will love to hear that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Joe. To be able to continue development and game quality of the highest standards, we have decided to change the update release system to be simpler and involve the community more. We expect more stable builds, fewer bugs and more polished features. The main change is that we are removing develop branch from the game. There will only be one branch and updates will be tagged as minor or major. We will still patch the game every week with minor updates, but major updates will not be scheduled with strict dates in advance, but rather will only be released when everything is completely tested, fixed and approved by a closed testing group to ensure the build is ready. Please note the difference between minor and major updates. Minor updates will contain critical fixes, crash fixes and content polish, 
which will allow us to focus more on creating new, stable features for major releases. To give an example from our recent update history, lens flares and properly mirrored wheels should be considered minor updates. Additionally, you will always be able to revert back to any major update released from this point onwards via the Betas tab in Steam. For more details on these update release system changes, please check out Marek's latest blog post via the link in the video description box below. Lastly, don't forget that this coming Monday, we will be streaming on the Keen Community Network over on Twitch at 7pm CET. To start with, there will be a section with Deep Flame showcasing the upcoming features of Medieval Engineers. And then there will be a Q&A session with Marek where we'll also do an early preview of the new HUD and UI. But that's all from me today. If you're interested in the full list of features, bug fixes and improvements in this update, please see the change log on our forums. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next week and as always... Don't be a fool by forgetting to refuel. Thank you.